Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you would hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the SP 500. And as you can see, on Friday, we did fall towards 4,376, only to basically turn around and rally and end up uh, at 4,401. So, uh, Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line that should be bearish, but due to the fact that we basically rallied at the end of the session, it kind of is a signal that we probably will just continue going higher. And the bottom of the market at this current stage should be the middle of the bullish band. Drop below here, then the 50 moving average comes into place at 4,282. And drop below here, then we could drop all the way down to 4,000. But that doesn't look like that is going to be the case at this stage. MACD is, uh, MACD is basically flat, stochastic is uh, becoming bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is uh, much more bearish here. Uh, MACD is still bullish, stochastic is becoming uh, uh, bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. But we did fall towards the middle of the bullish band, rally a little bit, but not that significant. If we drop below the 20 exponential, then the 50 is down here at the 34,516. And the middle, bottom of the bullish band is roughly at the 34,289 at this current stage. So we did see this massive drop uh, only a few weeks ago. And I would be very surprised if we see a drop similar to this one already. This will most likely just go very choppy and continue going grinding higher um, 35,500 should be the next target roughly around here and then 36,000 in the long run kind of looks like we're running out of steam here but still people are heavily buying these massive dips every time we see them so let's look at the Nasdaq so Nasdaq did hit the 20 exponential on on Friday and then rallied so that is a very good sign and uh, could be a signal that we are ready to go back towards a very high here of 15,134 and then probably target within the next few weeks 15,500 or probably 16,000 in the long run break below the 20 exponential of the door to roughly uh, 13,000, 14,600, and the 50 moving average at the 14,334. Uh, uh, 34. So um, that should be the bottom of this market. Break below here, then 13,000 uh, 13, comes into play, and then the 200 moving average. But then something significant should happen in the market. And at this current stage, we are not seeing that at this point. MACD is bearish at this point, MACD stochastic is becoming bullish, and RSI is flat. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX it did fall towards uh, 15,448 and then rallied. We're just at the 20 and the 50 moving average right here. And uh, technical indicators are not that very helpful because they're all of them flat. So break above. These candlesticks, then we are going to 16,000, break below here, then we could drop back to the bottom here, up roughly 15,000, and that's kind of where we are. We're basically in limbo right at the moment, and no clear um, sign where this market is going at this current stage. So let's look at the UK 100. Uh, very similar here. It looked like it was going to roll over and head back south, but then it rallied. So we're just underneath the 20 exponential moving average. We tried to rally at you know, test the 50 moving average twice here, but got rejected. So if we take out this candlestick here, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom again at uh, 6,800 and then 6,750 and the 200 moving average. However, technical indicators, they are more uh, bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. Break about the 50, then we could go target 7,200 again so let's look at the china china 50 sorry no idea what i'm doing at the moment 
So, yes, Channel 50 got absolutely crushed the last week of, uh, of July. We felt completely off a cliff here. Uh, got way overstretched, then we saw a massive rally, and then on Thursday and also Friday, we continued to drop. So we tested the uh, very bottom here and then pulled back a little bit and are kind of at the bottom of the bullish band at this point. Um, we are uh, on the edge of being oversold. We were significantly oversold there. That's why we basically had this rally, but people shorted this rally. When we did not manage to break above the previous size here, and then people started shorting again. And at this current stage, it looks like uh, th uh, 13,500 probably will be the next target, which is down here, the very bottom. After that, uh, 13,000, 14,000, and then 13,000. So we could drop significantly in this market all the way down towards uh, 11,000 level, but there are several levels here that we get, need to get through, but uh, this is not looking very good for this market. And uh, yes, uh, every single time it gets close to the 20 exponential, it really gets hammered like it got here and then just falls off a cliff. So uh, rallies towards the 20 exponential should be expected to be sold into. So hope you find it helpful. Your own support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.